Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am doing something very different. Well, not really different. I am having Michael as my model. During COVID times, I've been trying to shoot videos and it is impossible for me to get a model to be COVID compliant. So here we are. So with this video, I wanna show you guys one of the number one things I get asked on, tinted moisturizer. I've always said that I'm not a great lover of tinted moisturizer because I feel like there's a lot of products on the market that as a professional, I think that you can mix moisturizer and foundation. But I came across something that changed my mind. So there's a beautiful brand called Cogendo. It is a natural Japanese brand. It's all natural herbs and essences and skincare driven. So with that, I thought it was the perfect way to show you how I do a no makeup makeup look slash men's makeup tutorial breakdown for you. So I don't get to show them often, so this is Cogendo's cleansing wipes. I use them on all the applications um, for any makeup I do because one, they clean very well, they're cleansing water, they have no alcohol, they're non-irritating, and they really clean the skin. And with any makeup applications, whether it's a no makeup look or a full glam, you want to make sure that the skin is clean and prepped. One key thing with what I'm showing you is how to neutralize the skin and make the skin look like you have no makeup on, but you have makeup on. With that, I am going to do a little bit of prepping. I love Tatcha, I love the, um, all their products, but I'm not gonna go with skincare as much for this application because the Moisture foundation has a lot of skincare elements to it, and so I don't want to overhydrate. So I am just going to prime with Tatcha's liquid silk canvas and just minimize the nose area. And I do this, this is basically one of the steps I do in all my glam makeups, but also especially in my own men's makeup or no makeup look. I'm wearing it now. Um, where it just minimizes the pores and helps keep the skin more perfect, really. So you can kind of see in the, in the camera um, how it really minimizes everything. So I'm gonna go right into foundation. This is gonna be a really quick, quick application. Um, there's not much to it. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the 123 Cogendo Moisture Foundation. I'm gonna use my trusty Sigma Angle Kabuki. And so I'm gonna start on this side. So a little bit goes a long way because you just want, you wanna put it on as if it was a moisturizer. That's what it's kind of um, the best application tip. So with one other tip, especially, turn more towards me. Uh, you want to find a skin or tone that is going to even out the skin. But whether you are um, someone that has blemishes, or you have some um, redness like Michael does, you wanna pick a shade that is going to neutralize the cut tones, but not look like you have makeup. So with that, uh, Michael has a lot of red, so I'm using something that's a little bit more on the tan to orange side rather than the golden tone side. So if I were to use something that was too gold, I'm sure we've all seen in um, TV shows, especially on men, where you can kind of see that they have this like goldish jaundice um, look. Well, that is because the foundation or the product they use is too golden. So this is going to definitely even him out and make him look more fair at first, but once it um, sets and I put a little bit of the bronzer on, it's gonna really look like he has no makeup on. Plus, Michael likes to turn towards me, have a lot of red, and every time we do pictures, don't you always say, you're like, get rid of the redness, get rid I of get the redness. Embarrassed. He always looks like he's blushing, but I'm gonna let this sit, because that little bit of stimulation on the skin is turning him redder, so it's making this look more golden towards, turn towards me. Trick if you're ever doing your face, get your ears a little bit so they're toned. I, especially myself, have to make sure I get the sides of my neck 
even though it's a tinted moisturizer, it just will tone everything and keep it more um, even and more less makeup looking because everything matches. All right, so another thing, you're gonna to wanna to use a little bit of powder just because the skincare elements in it are going to um, hydrate, but they also are gonna give you a little bit of a glow, and we don't really necessarily want that. So I'm gonna use the Natural Light Powder from Cogendo and really just kind of set this in place um, and make it nice and even. All right, turn towards me. And this is the Sigma Soft Blend. Um, 60 brush. And this just kind of takes down the shine, but also it gives a really nice, beautiful um, glow to the skin. I shouldn't say vibrant, more of a vibrancy to the skin. Now, I'm going to use one of my favorite things. This isn't Cogendo, but it's one of my staples in my kit, especially. If you tend to have more pink in your skin um, and your all foundations seem to be a little bit more golden than you like, I found that this is the Buxom Staycation Rooftop Tan Bronzer. If you, a little goes a long way, but you just hit it across the face, the high points, and it's going to just give you that little bit of depth and dimension and glow back to the skin so it's not too even and too perfect. Everybody needs a little bit of definition in their brows and so sometimes brows if they're overdone can definitely be too dark and too noticeable but I have found for myself, I'm wearing it now, but the outside corners of my brows um, in the last couple of years I've wanted to have a little bit more definition because they've gotten thinner. And this is Eyebrow Queen's Blonde, so it's like a blonde brown, more of a brown, more of a brown blonde, very neutral. And I just do a little bit of short lines, just to define the brow. It's just enough so that you can get the shape but you don't want it to really be too aggressive and a little goes a long way. Back, turn back. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Alright so I'm gonna go back through the brows make sure that they are nice and blended out. I'm going to set this so I like to spray um, if anytime I use powder, I like to set the makeup. So this is Cogenda's Herbal Spa Mist. It has no alcohol in it. It's just really um, uh, infused with natural ingredients, and um, I like the way it smells. One, and also it just gives a nice finish to the skin. And because we don't want it to look like makeup, we want to make sure that, I, that it's powder-free, if it will. And this is just going to help it all set into the skin and be basically more, even more of a no makeup look. If you follow me, you know I love hyaluronic acid and this is Kosa's Baseline um, Hyaluronic Lip Balm. And I'm just gonna apply that and it's just gonna give a little bit of hydration. Well, the key aspects of a no makeup makeup look is just that it shouldn't look like makeup. So a little goes a long way. If you need a little bit more coverage, you can add a concealer. Uh, but what I like to do is less is more. All right, so there you have the no makeup makeup look, men's makeup, tinted moisturizer, all of the above. So keep it fresh, keep it simple, try the products, uh, let me know what you think. And if you haven't done it already, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave some comments, and I'll see you again very soon. But the number one thing is less is more, um, that's not what I'm trying to get to. Alright, all the lines are on my chest. chest is right here. Okay. So there you have the no makeup makeup look, men's makeup, tinted moisturizer. Stunning. Alright, there we go. We'll see how that lands. Okay. See how that lands.